Somebody wanted to see this thing in action. I've got the new rails. I've got a 16 foot 6 log on the mill here. Uh, so let's cut it. Uh, Steve wants some uh, 2x5s that are 16 plus long. So we're going to give that to him. But actually, come on around here and have a look <clears throat> at the end of the log. The thing about cutting logs is that they're not symmetrical, they're not square, you have to square them, all that fun stuff. So I don't want to have too much waste on the log. So I'm going to cut, uh, I happen to make a flat first and then I'm going to cut two inches off here and then hopefully five here and then hopefully get another two that way. I, I don't know if I will or not, but we're going to try. So I'm going to get a flat board here and then take, take my five from here. Um, you may notice I have the log blocked up, so I'm getting a straighter cut. So anyway, uh, let's take a cut on this, take two inches off the top, and then we'll go for the five here. What? and a half horse motor, so we go slow. What I found is, if you're going to bark, you need a lot of loop. So you see it's a guard car. On its way back to get all the sawdust off, clears it off. If I'm not going through bark, I use the regular lubrication system, but if I am going through bark, then the hose is definitely best, as I found. So now we have to turn the log. That gets me close. At least I'm seeing that dot. I don't know whether I'll get another 
two by five out of the top of this or not. less than five inches. More. So we'll bring it up one turn. And if it's too wide, then you can just rip that down the other side. First, let's go up seven turns. I've got the long turned upright, and it's about where I'm going to cut it. Got to cut the junk off, and then we can start just simply. We can start simply just lowering the blade, and since this is five inches this way, we lower the blade too, and now you have a two by five. Pretty simple. I don't know how, I'm gonna, how many I'm going to get out of here. Um, it's not a great log. I don't know how big the knots are going to be and if they're going to be completely uh, killer here to some of these pieces. But uh, let's find out. Now one thing of course we've got to look out for are the uprights. So if you lower it too much, you're going to snag an upright and you're going to ruin your blade. Don't do that. Right. So make sure the ways are clean. There isn't too much stuff on them, nothing in the way. So now we hit the on button and go. And I don't need the, uh, the garden hose on it. I guess you could use it, but uh, I don't need the garden hose on it now because I'm not going through the bark. Um, and really what you're trying to do is get rid of all the sand or dirt or whatever's on, in, or around the bark. Okay. Eve ho. Move is going. Hit the gas. I can hit that. Okay, we're good.
may be worse. Let's take this off and see what we can see here. It might be alright. This one's kind of ugly. It's okay here. Okay, so it's two separate knots. All right, that'll be all right then. A captured knot down there. Okay, it's not a super strong log, but it'll work. So hopefully as we go, the news doesn't get any worse than that. So I'm just gonna keep cutting here. Um, just like that, go that way. Um, if you guys have any questions, put them down in the comments. But that's, uh, that's basically how I do my milling. Nothing exciting, um, nothing too complex. Just have to think ahead a little bit. I'm gonna take these later and uh, chop them down and see if I can make similar boards, uh, similar size boards out of them. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.